Welcome back guys. This is Jason, KM4ACK. Today, let's take a few minutes to discuss the Winlink catalog system and a new script I've written for Pat. Stick around and we'll get right to it. So before we get to the script that I have written, let's kind of take a look at the catalog system and some of the things we can do with that uh, for those that might not be familiar with the WinLink catalog. So the catalog system is something that's built into WinLink Express, which is a native uh, Windows application for running WinLink. Uh, and, and the purpose of the catalog is to allow you to request information from the system. So maybe you want a propagation report or a weather report uh, or the daily news, something like that. What you can do is you can compose an email and send that, uh, send that request out over RF. Give that a few minutes while the system processes it. And then when you make another connection, say five minutes later, the information that you requested will be delivered back over RF to your inbox. So what you're looking at on the screen here is a list of every command uh, inside the WinLink catalog. So these are all of the different uh, reports that you can request. Uh, many of them are for overseas, um, but some of them are relevant to us here in the US. So since this wasn't available in Pat WinLink, I tried to recreate at least a basic uh, catalog and then we can expand on that going forward as people uh, submit ideas and requests for that. So let's kind of take a look at getting this installed and the way it would work. So let's go ahead and move over to the Pi to take a look at this. Uh, so we'll open up our terminal window. And from the terminal window, let's go ahead and move to our downloads directory. And I'm going to go ahead and use the wget command and paste in this link here. Now guys, I'll leave uh, this entire command down in the description box below so that you can copy and paste. Uh, we're only going to need a couple of commands today to get this thing uh, up and running. So let's go ahead and hit return. Just takes a second to get that downloaded. Uh, the next command we want uh, is chmod plus x catalog. And we'll go ahead and hit return on that. We'll just clear that screen. And the only other command we need is the command to actually start the script. So let's use dot forward slash catalog and go ahead and press return. Now, the first time you run it, it's going to say that it needs to download a weather reference file. Press any key to download, so I'll just go ahead and press that key. It'll take it just a couple of seconds to get that, and then the script will run. So, here's the uh, first screen that you're presented with that will allow you to post many of these requests over to your PAT outbox. So, for instance, let's take a look at number one, the gateway list. Um, so we press that and it's going to ask which gateway list would you like to request. You can request the list for RDOP uh, or you can request the list for Packet. And what that would do is that would give you a list of every one of the currently operational gateways uh, for either RDOP or Packet. So let's press 3 to go back to the main menu. Let's go ahead and take a look at weather. Uh, so in the weather section, you can use GPS weather or you can use uh, city weather. So in order to use GPS weather, you do need a GPS dongle attached to your Pi and already up and configured. So let's take a look at the city weather and how this would work. So let's press number two. And this is going to give us uh, just some quick instructions here. Basically, what we need to know is the area ID uh, for the forecast that we want. Uh, and this is going to be presented in the next uh, couple of screens. So press any key to continue and you'll get the first list. So let's assume that uh, we want the weather forecast for Ohio. 
what we'll do is we're just going to take and highlight this and copy it. Now, all of these guys, uh, all of these weather reports is, I ported these over from the Winlink catalog system. I didn't create these myself, but I believe I got every single one of them out of the Win, uh, Winlink catalog ported over to this, uh, this new catalog system for PAP. Now, uh, to cycle through these screens, you just need to press your space bar until we get uh, out of it. And then it's going to ask you, what's the area ID that you would like uh, to request? So I'm going to paste in that one that we copied. And I'm just going to go ahead and hit return. And then it's going to give us some information here that just, uh, just tells us that the request has been posted to the PAT outbox. And I need to go to PAT to initiate a connection. Now, press any key to continue. Currently, this is just going to dump you back to the command line uh, and exit out of the script when we press any key to continue. And that's because this is actually only one piece of a larger script that I'm working on. So currently it just dumps you back to the command prompt. Uh, once we get the, the final script uh, released, it's going to do some other, uh, other things for us. Uh, but to restart it, you could just uh, run the dot forward slash catalog command again. But let's go over to Pat and take a look at that request that we've posted. So I'm in Pat and I have clicked on the outbox and here's my request ready to go out. So if I open that up, you'll see that city code uh, that we are the area ID, I believe is what the script calls it. But you'll see that uh, entered in right here into the body. So let's go ahead and make a quick telnet connection so that we can get that information uh, on its way. We will need to give that a couple of minutes to go through the system and be ready to deliver back to us. So while we're waiting on that, let's go back and look at the menu again. And we've got some other options here. So uh, if you guys saw the video last week on position reports, uh, and how WinLink position reports can be used for in MCOM, then we can use option number three. And here, uh, again, if you remember from last week, we could request all nearby stations. Well, that is built into the new catalog script. And then if you want to take a look at the location for one particular operator or one particular station, you can use option number one to gather that information. Uh, in addition to that, we've got propagation reports uh, as item number four and item number five will give you uh, some, some news, some daily news uh, maybe that you want to request. All right, let's head back over to Pat and see if uh, the re information that we requested is ready to be delivered back to us. So back in the Pat inbox, let's press connect again and let's go ahead and make that Telnet connection. Now guys, this could all be done over RF. I'm using Telnet just uh, to save some time in this video. So it looks like that did get uh, returned to us. So let's go back to the inbox and let's highlight that. And there we go. There is the uh, forecast for Ohio. And it gives us, uh, looks like, oh, Okay, so this particular one gives us several different cities inside of Ohio. So guys, that's a look at the catalog script. Like I said, this is part of a uh, larger script that I am currently working on. Hopefully I'm going to bring that uh, to you guys in the near future. I've got several of my patrons uh, working on kind of beta testing that and giving me some feedback making sure we don't have any major issues with uh, a couple of other things that we're working on before we release that to the general public. Guys, I appreciate, as always, uh, watching these videos, clicking the like button. Be sure to subscribe if you haven't done that already and ring the bell so you'll be notified of future videos like this. We will see you guys on the next video. Until then, 7-3.